the main agenda of this uh, webinar is to introduce you to the uh, uh, one minute i'm so sorry to interrupt sri ram so whenever yeah, yeah. you wanted to change a slide you can let me know i can change it yeah? sure 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 yeah 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 Thank so uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, the idea was to introduce you to the uh, uh, idea uh, to the three uh, D printing or additive manufacturing technology and uh, say you know uh, how potential uh, it is and uh, give you an idea of the opportunities in this field. So today, what I'm going to do is that you know it's going to be a, a very very overview. Uh, I'll, I'm going to walk you through different applications in real world that three D printing or additive manufacturing is already ruling. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, all of us are very well aware that uh, the human needs devolve uh, mainly around uh, the essentialities like food, water, shelter, air, and clothing. So, uh, so what I'm trying to say is that you know, 3D printing, uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, you know upcoming technologies, uh, is trying to keep a place in all of these essentialities. For example, uh, you won't believe me if I say uh, 3D printing is playing a vital role with respect to uh, shelters for humanity. And with respect to safety, with respect to clothing, and with respect to food, the other air, water, and sleep, uh, it is kind of you know a natural process. So what I'm my for my uh, presentation will be focused on how 3D printing is making an impact in real time with respect to these human needs. So uh, uh, we'll start out with the uh, you know uh, the the current trend. Uh, you know the entire world is uh, struggling with the coronavirus impact. Uh, I'll quickly give you a walkthrough on uh, how uh, the, the 3D printing is uh, fighting Corona. For example, in the left, if you can see, that is a face shield. So, uh, and and uh, lead engineer from Sweden had come up with an open source design, uh, which can be 3D printed. So that is essentially a face shield. So. Uh, since the uh, ma mass manufacturing, injection moldings, and CNCs and everything is shut down, 3D printing is making a dynamic uh, change in this world by uh, you know uh, printing a lot of face shields according to the requirement. For example, uh, uh, like you know, I had personally supplied a lot of face shields to 100 or uh, you know 100 or 200 face shields to an hospital across in Chennai and Pondicherry. Uh, so it is a very dynamic thing. So if you have 100 uh, uh, need 100 pieces needs, you can immediately you know uh, uh, give your design to the 3D printer and 3D print it, and then you can probably give the give the product. And ventilator splitter is a very very important uh, life saving device. For example, India uh, as a country. Uh, has only 80,000 uh, ventil ventilators capa capacity. But, you know, once the corona outbreak is there, it might extend around, you know, we might be needing somewhere around five to six lakhs of ventilator. So uh, I believe, yeah, we are still a developing country and uh, we are we, we would not be able to handle the situation if it exp exponentially increases. So 3D printing has come up with a dynamic solution of splitting a single ventilator across two or three patients. So. Uh, the Y junction, what you see is a splitter, ventilator splitter, which splits the oxygen to two patients. So one ventilator can be used to two or four patients. So this is something that 3D printing community had come up with. I had kind of, you know, I had been in talks with a lot of government officials and a lot of hospitals to put it across to the hospitals. So, uh, yeah, I initially spoke about the safety, uh, life threatening Corona and uh, how 3D printing community is saving. Uh, not just that 3D printing is making a huge impact uh, you know, by providing shelter. So can you guys believe that this is an entirely 3D printed house? So uh, I believe, you know, this is something, uh, you know, uh, not not that every, every technologies can do. So the entire house was 3D printed. Uh, by 3D printing a house, if you can ask me, you know, what is the biggest, uh, you know, advantage or something. So currently, uh, if you guys want to build your dream house, it will take somewhere around 1.5 to 2 years. And uh, it will kind of, you know, cost you uh, so much because, uh, you know, uh, the house building is something that takes a lot of labors. So with essentially moving to an automated or 3D printed houses, you bring down the, uh, you know, uh, 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 lead times to less than a month. So if you want to build a house, essentially, you'll be able to kind of, you know, if you adopt 3D printing in the future, you'll be able to build a house within a month. and. Uh, uh, there is not much labor required as well. And it is also a kind of, you know, we are trying to push uh, it in an affordable uh, 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 housing segment. So for example, India uh, in particular has 3.5 lakhs of uh, affordable houses requirement. Uh, with the existing current technologies, we are not able to uh, satisfy the uh, demand. So we'll have to go to futuristic technologies like 3D printing to build houses. So yeah, this is one of the 
you know amazing uh, 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 applications of 3d printing so not just yeah not just it is limited to uh, you know safety and uh, shelter but food uh, but you know though you have a uh, basic uh, food uh, uh, satisfied all over your world the world is slightly moving towards a customized uh, 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 you know trend uh, whatever you need you have you need to have a customization or personalization for example a person a prefers uh, a, a particular type of uh, food and if he prefers a particular you know topping on it and particular seasoning on it so that is where the hotels are or the restaurants are moving towards it's it's like and giving and providing an experience centric uh, uh, food so with the advent of 3d printing uh, 3d printing can deliver you uh, you know a customized food so for example you know you can uh, 3d print chocolates of any shapes or uh, sizes you can prepare desserts uh, with any seasonal topping and stuffs so this is one amazing uh, application of 3d printing i think uh, in uk there has been one uh, first 3d printed uh, restaurant which has been opened and i think it's quite exciting you guys should catch it up uh, once you go abroad or something and india it has slightly started to catch uh, mainly five star hotels and restaurants are uh, you know trying to uh, use this technology and it's it's definitely a fancy uh, stuff not yeah so that is something that uh, the food industry and 3d printing is moving towards and yeah i think uh, healthcare uh, is uh, uh, you know uh, the most essential part of human so i will tell you in what different skills that 3d printing is impacting healthcare so for example uh, you know uh, you kind of you know that there is a fire accident which you kind of you know encounter due to an accident accidental fire accident which a family encounters or something and uh, you have your skin burnt across uh, and uh, you know you if you are trying to regain your skin generally what they do is the plastic surgery or something but 3d printing what 3d printing offers is a technology called bioprinting so in using bioprinting uh, they have they they take an artificial skin extruded through the bioprinters and then you can probably 3d print your entire skin so whatever the skin you have lost in that accident you will probably be able to kind of print it on your own existing body and it will be uh, it will it will go well with your uh, uh, existing skin so that is what the researchers across the world have been doing and uh, 3d printing organs is one exciting thing for example tissue reengineering Uh, if they are able to rep replicate uh, you know the tissues uh, 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 using the 3d printing technology you can probably grow your own organs so for example there is a huge organ uh, demand uh, across the world so uh, only one a person is uh, you know uh, essentially uh, dies or some somebody like the other one gets the organ so 3d printing essentially addresses the organ demand for example 3d printing has cured a lot of corneal blindness so you if you look at the cornea uh, the cornea is made of a material called uh, polymethyl methyl acrylate so that material can be 3d printed and it can be implanted into your uh, eyes and uh, you know that can be essentially made to cure corneal blindness and with respect to implants probably you have dental implants so most of us don't uh, uh, the braces is something that an earlier trend but now to have your teeth in shape most of them uses something called aligners so aligners is nothing but a ready made product which you uh, insert into your teeth to make your uh, teeth in shape so 3d printing offers the advantage of customized the uh, aligners as in you kind of scan your teeth data and see where exactly are the you know uh, inaccuracies where 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 exactly your teeth is uh, irregular or something and then it prepares the aligners accordingly and once you fit the aligner your your teeth will sit in place so since it's a dynamic thing 3d printing uh, uh, plays a very very uh, huge role in that not just talinus it also uh, the hip implant which you see in the right side so that is something that 3d printing has come up with so it is like a personalized implant every body has their own uh, shoe size so every body uh, is is you know independent in its own way so that is something the principle that 3d printing is trying to address so every implant should be different in its own way but currently what we are doing is that all implants come in a standard sizes so if it is there uh, nothing harm in it but uh, you might uh, encounter uh, uh, issues in uh, long run so i think it is very important for us to move into uh, you know the 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 concept of uh, 3d printed personalized implants say for example orthopedic implants uh, you know hip implants uh, dental implants 
uh, cranio maxial implants uh, as in the skull implants so everything can essentially be 3d printed and we can entirely move towards it and with respect to organs yeah liver uh, ears as in eyes uh, and uh, you know any other essential parts can be 3d printed but not it is in a very initial stage we can definitely go uh, put a lot of effort and we can be there eventually and yeah so if there are any automotive uh, enthusiasts i'm uh, very glad to say that you know 3d printing yeah it it just not just essentially uh, comes out uh, with the other thing you can also uh, 3d print fancy cars as in uh, the car different parts of the cars uh, has been 3d printed which is a old thing the entire car has been 3d printed electric cars nowadays electric cars electric Uh, bikes and all can easily be 3d printed so this is where they are moving towards you know uh, a, a light weight design uh, you know aesthetically sound uh, uh, cars so you know uh, 3d printing allows it to be uh, uh, you know specialized it so these are all you know carbon fiber uh, based cars uh, where it has a technology to uh, manufacture the independent parts using 3d printing and assemble it so this is one of the first uh, 3d printed electric cars called stati it is done by ge uh, engineering and uh, i think a lot of uh, concepts have been developed uh, uh, with the 3d printing uh, electrical bikes and stuff you know so i think it is a really really interesting uh, uh, trend i think you guys should definitely catch up uh, what is happening with respect to automotive so uh, not just uh, you know not just with respect to a completely 3d printed car even your automobile parts for example uh, you know uh, uh, essentially uh, going to your engine heads and these are the impellers and uh, uh, stuff and all so these are all really really complicated parts uh, to manufacture so 3d printing's biggest usp is uh, you know uh, making use of it can easily produce the complicated parts uh, so these are all uh, you know the automotive parts which has been 3d printed and uh, the right side which you see is the biggest 3d printed part in the world uh, it, it is an aerospace landing gear assembly so i think uh, this has been done in uh, cranfield uk uh, those guys have come up with a technology that's a new technology to 3d print metal parts uh, which is used for aerospace uh, uh, components i think it's a, it's a very very interesting trends because you know uh, in aerospace buy to fly ratio is something that is of huge importance buy to fly is nothing but you know uh, how much raw material you put uh, into uh, in input stage what what raw material you put and what is the final weight of the product so always the btf should be as minimum as possible so if it is more you are wasting a lot of material in manufacturing that part so 3d printing essentially eliminates uh, the material wastage and it exactly uh, deposits the material which it is required for that part so that is the biggest biggest advantage of 3d printing and yeah uh, 3d printed electronics what not so for example if you have gone through uh, you know your pcbs and fancy stuffs so it is a really really complex array of uh, you know uh, designs so what you can do is that you know there is something called uh, uh, conductive ink so conductive ink essentially consists of zinc oxide or nano silver inks which can essentially be extruded through the 3d printing uh, machine and uh, it can uh, probably you know it can uh, 3d print the design it can 3d print the entire pcbs so the electronics right so the electronics is a very very complicated system it has to kind of you know be very very uh, accurate so 3d printing uh, you know allows that kind of uh, uh, accuracy and it allows that kind of uh, patterns and geometry to be in place so that you know you can 3d print the entire board so that is something a revolution nothing less than a revolution at least and yeah uh, what not uh, so if you want to go into and uh, you know customize the uh, experience so these are uh, you know the designer centric uh, domestic chairs so it can essentially be of plastic it can essentially be of concrete these are all 3d printing allows you know even if you imagine a kind of design that can be that can come to real life so what you see is that you know these are all natural inspired designs so you can you know with the other technologies you will have to prepare a negative mold for it you will have to kind of uh, have invest on tooling it's a you know it's it's a really painful process but in 3d printing you know you think of some designs you design it you give the design to 3d printer you you so you provide the material it directly 3d prints it and boom you are done so you can sit on the chair immediately so it, it takes nothing less than if you have something in mind within a day or so you can get the product so these are you know different types of chairs which can be uh, 3d printed 
and i think this is an entirely uh, uh, you know mind blowing uh, design uh, uh, you know which brings uh, live designs and it, which plays around with your uh, mind's uh, uh, you know taste so yeah i think i particularly am a fan of these chairs yeah next next uh, and yeah so coming on to the uh, you know uh, jewelry and uh, the other stuff so 3d printing allows you to uh, 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 you know manufacture uh, complex jewelries at a one go so for example there is a process called lost, lost wax process uh, till now uh, what they have been doing is that in a very traditional way they use the wax uh, uh, pattern to kind of you know they use a wax model to kind of you know uh, put your uh, uh, liquid metal on it and get the final uh, jewelry part but here you can 3d print the entire wax uh, assembly itself and sometimes you know the most important part is nowadays scientists have developed a technology that can directly 3d print gold silver or whatever so i think uh, the world has gone to a different uh, extreme we are pushing our boundaries so you can directly 3d print your jewels so that is where we are going towards so you know if you have uh, you know yeah if you have any customized the uh, designs say for example if you want to gift it to your partner or if you want to give it to your any of the family member and if you want any personalized things to go there you can probably incorporate that that in the design and you can give it to the 3d printing uh, machine it can easily 3d print uh, it so either uh, i think the gold direct 3d printing is something like far ahead but what you can do is that you can 3d print the wax models and then you know you can pour uh, gold or silver or platinum over it and you get the final thing so essentially 3d printing is adding a huge value in terms of jewelry industry so yeah uh, i think uh, i had uh, uh, you know uh, spoke about different uh, uh, prospects of 3d printing and different scopes of it in different industries so i believe it kept you excited at least on uh, what is this guy talking even is it is he making sense or if he's just bluffing uh, so i would uh, probably if there are any questions like that i'd be very happy because i would want you to go back uh uh reflect upon whatever i told and uh you know uh, i would probably uh, want you guys to reflect and thought upon it so yeah uh, uh giving uh, you know fair application side of 3d printing now i would like to uh define what 3d printing is so 3d printing uh is nothing but it is a process by which uh, a, a digital 3d model is converted into a physical uh physical uh, object by a layer by layer deposition of the material right so for example you have a tumbler in house uh, you want to essentially manufacture a plastic tumbler so what you'll have to do is that you'll have to design it in cad uh, so you'll have to design it in cad by giving it the dimensions and the entire things and you'll have to uh, you'll have to transport that cad file into the 3d printer so see humans have a way of communication we use uh, english hindi tamil and whatever languages to communicate with ourselves so you will also have to follow a set of language to communicate with 3d printer so 3d printer doesn't understand the cad model 3d printer has its own version called stl file so you will essentially have to convert the 3d cad model into stl file for it to process the data so once you give it an stl file it takes it into g codes and the machine executes or it 3d prints the model so you will also have to give the material there and once you give the material i think it will you know initially there will be a first layer uh, which is printed and above it there will be a second layer printed and subsequently there will be different layers which will be 3d printed so uh, yeah that is essentially uh, the definition of 3d printing probably uh, yeah uh, i think it is very uh, naive to say it. probably you, if you guys are aware of any jalebi making uh, 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 you know uh, methodologies or something you can pro probably equate it parallelly so jalebi they used to extrude it you, they used to put the material they used to extrude it in a pattern and do it so yeah i think we are going back to our roots and uh, uh, you know uh, saying it as a technology so it's nothing less than that so you are essentially in jalebi you have whatever constitutes the jalebi and putting it and uh, you know you have the holes which comes out of it and the material final physical thing is deposited like several layers in 3d printing yeah it has nothing you can it is almost parallel so you print you give the material you give the data uh, that is the machine and out of machine comes the actual physical object so yeah i think uh, uh, for the first session you can probably 
tell your friends that hey 3d printing is nothing but uh, jalebi making machine macha right so uh, it will be very simple for you guys and uh, and I, i would also like to tell that 3d printing is not just a single technology so as you think uh, we are not talking about uh, one technology so when i spoke about uh, 3d printing a house when i spoke about 3d printing uh, car parts and stuffs when i spoke about 3d printing food when i spoke about uh, 3d printing implants i was not just referring to a single technology so there are different variants of 3d printing uh, so that i i think uh, i i don't want to freak you out in the first uh, seminar so probably uh, i i i am planning to go it in a very very basic way so it's just a group of technologies it's a family of technologies probably it will consist around 13 to 14 technologies so it's not just a single technology that is something that i would like to clarify right yeah so why 3d printing why additive manufacturing why why would you kind of you know why would you want to switch over to that see uh, that's what the world is uh, moving towards uh, a revolution each day or other you know there was a first industrial revolution second industrial revolution the third industrial revolution gave rise to computers and the other stuffs and i think uh, there has not been any revolution for the past 20 or 30 years so uh, i think the world is moving towards industrial revolution 4.0 which is nothing but a smart manufacturing smart manufacturing is nothing but you know using a, several technologies uh, like 3d printing like internet of things like artificial intelligence uh, supply chain as in uh, uh, you know like different technologies and then coexisting these technologies and coming up with a smart workplace for example uh, you need a smart industry so smart industry as in you know uh, your machines can communicate with each other uh, you know where you completely optimize your uh, you know operations and you kind of you know you are able to save about a lot of resources so that is where the world is moving so 3d printing is going to play an important role in this industry 4.0 why so because of the points 3d printing you know you can there is no uh, access freedom so you can you are you are free to design anything as in you can go crazy on the designs so you have a freedom of designs in this uh, technology that is one thing and uh, shorter lead times so with respect to the conventional manufacturing if you compare cnc's and injection moldings and stuff you will have to uh, invest a significant investment and timing on the tooling uh, and it is also applicable only for mass manufacturing if you have a very low volume thing you know that is again a loss you are running at a loss so 3d printing enables producing low volume complex parts with shorter lead times and it is also cost effective depending on the parts you choose so if you choose the most complex part and which has a requirement of 100 to 150 uh, and uh, you know i think you have to be very very smart in this uh, you should you, sh you can't be using 3d printing for ma manufacturing one lakh pieces i think that is nothing less than a stupidity uh, so you'll have to kind of use 3d printing in its best potential way so 3d printing works in this exact sweet spot uh, you know low volume complex geometry shorter lead times so this is the usp of 3d printing uh, i believe uh, yeah i think these are uh, this is why you should switch on to 3d printing right so i think i have nothing much to explain it